Hi all, this is Master Muncher, and welcome to the first naval battle of the campaign. Today we're going to showcase the mighty Galleon. 336 soldiers, 18 morale, 700 hull strength, 1 maneuverability, 26 melee attack, 25 melee defense, cannon range 700, 24 cannons. So, this is the best nav naval unit of the whole game. We have proper soldiers, every single one of these men have a gunpowder unit, an air so we will shoot. And today, we are facing the Mori clan. Look at the sails, the Portuguese are the Christ cross, very famous throughout this period. We are fighting, as I was saying, the Mori clan. We're facing five heavy ships. The Nihon Maru, which is their best um, or the most heavy naval unit of the whole game of our traditional sh uh, Shogun clans. And four Mori heavy brooms. We should really win this. It's just really to showcase how much the, the galleon is powerful and how incredibly overpowered cannons are in this game so we have all three of these and four five of these this small fleet but very powerful fleet like if this was any other uh, clan against the mori they would probably have a good chance of winning regardless of who they faced but because they say facing the portuguese they're gonna die and the mori is the naval clan so all their ships are superior to all the other traditional uh, Shogun 2 clans, but not the Portuguese. As you can see, you can see the barrage. Oh, you can already see them getting shot. And what we'll do, we'll keep shooting at them. They'll suffer a bit, but that will be to our advantage. We'll just see how the next volley goes, the next barrage. Just wait until they load. There you go. Ooh. Look, look how the, the whole strength is already so damaged and the soldiers too. Well, I don't know why you stopped, man. But yeah, so the, the galleons have 24 cannons, 12 in each side. And just to, for a comparison, the caravel, the caravel with cannons has 10 overall, so only 5 on each side. So this is a, <laughs> this is a castle, like a floating castle. There's no other way better way to describe it and you have the two towers in front and in the back which it was served as a really good vantage point for the gunpowder units so let's see what happens N um, man wise we are outnumbered but oh, as you can see with the cannons that doesn't really matter we're gonna keep moving a bit forward just just to avoid a boarding oh I love look at this gorgeous amazing Just avoiding them getting to us. And they are blobbing up. Look, look at the whole damage on the ship. It's ridiculous. It, it will take a while for them to actually um, to actually sink. Because they are heavy ships. So that's the only downside. They will take a lot of damage. And they all have like archers which will start shooting at us. If they go to the other side, the ship can fire in both ends. So... If they surround us, it's actually not really to their benefit. Look at this, all the soldiers are ready to fire. <laughs> Let's just wait until... Are they gonna go around? Yes, they are. Okay. Now we're gonna start seeing it. <laughs> the ship's just stopped. Okay, let's go, go to the side so we can start shooting you too, ooh, there you go, point, alright, so this, okay, let's just wait, ooh, all the archivists here shooting, the cannons, oh Jesus Christ, this is disgusting. Now 
And as you can see, this ship sustained too much hull damage. So it's slowly sinking. The soldiers refuse to admit it, they're still firing. Look how cool this is. It's inclined, but the archer is still shooting. Ooh. It'll take a while to shoot. Look how many arrows there are in the galleon. We have lost 50 men with all the <laughs> with all these arrows, which makes sense, honestly. This ship is suffered too much. He, they were getting like a full f uh, broadside, full one. So they, it is. Yeah, it's gonna sink. It's gonna keep trying to flee, but slowly it'll sink. The sea, as this one. So right now we only have three enemies, really. No mercy. And they're still yeah. Oh okay, now now they're starting to die. Okay. Slowly sinking into oblivion. Such a shame. As you said, the ship's already going down. Did the other go down? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. See, it kept going forward. But now, it's sayonara. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. And disappeared. All the soldiers died. And adios. Meanwhile, the ship did the same. Now, the heavy one is still receiving the brunt. This is also a castle. Essentially a floating castle. They keep shooting the arrows against us. Never stopping. We have lost uh, 30 soldiers. But we still have the 24 uh, cannons operating. Look at this. The amount of arrows that there are. How many arrows on this side? Did they disappear? Yeah, most of them disappeared. See, this ship's slowly sinking, but it was slowly sinking almost since the beginning, just to showcase how sturdy these ships are. This battle is really just like to demonstrate how OP the galleons are, and when we get them in our campaign, it's gonna be amazing. Still a while off, so that's why, and that's another reason why I want to show you guys, just to give you like a sneak, sneak peek. Okay, is this ship? Yeah, this ship <laughs> It's already gliding in the front. Slowly sinking in the guy, the soldiers refuse to admit it. This one too. Very soon. So what we'll do... We'll try to board this one. Just to showcase also... Um, boarding action. Hopefully we won't... Uh, we won't... Uh, let's take f uh, fire wheel off, just so we don't sink it. Because now, this ship should, this ship is definitely sinking. <laughs> oh man, look at this! It's so sad. Still, almost have all the soldiers. So that's it. Like in naval battles, you don't need to kill all the soldiers to win. You just need to sink the ships. And when you have cannons, there's an easy way to do it. Oh, the mighty Nihon Maru. Just. Almost 300 souls are going to perish. Just so sad. I mean, not for us, but... <coughs> uh, oh, look at this. The sail behind. So beautiful. Now we just basically left them to their fates. <laughs> they but the ships keep going. Like they sh as, as long as they have soldiers and it hasn't completely sunk, the, the, the AI still uses them, so they're still going forward against us. <laughs> this one's gonna sink sideways. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Okay, this is finally gone. And this will follow suit very quickly. Everyone already falling. Are you gonna stop us from boarding them? I think you are. Well, then I guess 
we just shoot them. No, no, no. Let's 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 try to board them. Let's just fast forward. And the ship will go around. But yeah, because uh, we are fighting a very, very hard battle difficulty, so the ships do try their best not to get boarded when they know they're gonna lose. <laughs> Look at this, it's still going. Still, still floating. Bless their souls. Look, <laughs> the oars. Yeah, this ship is. I don't think we're gonna get it before they actually go down. We might, we might have should have like get this one instead. Nah, yeah, they're gone. Okay. Never mind. Let's just shoot them. Give one final broadside to these guys and their misery. No mercy, <laughs> they didn't know we're sinking. Alright, what we'll do, let's finish them off, because I have been saying that it's gonna sink for a while now, it's just, it's just refusing to. And I said in the beginning, the Galen is the best naval unit in Shogun 2 Total War. Because uh, bef even without the mod, this is the black ship, so you do have a quest in the, the normal game without the mod to actually fight it. So you will find, that's why it's so well polished, it wasn't actually the, the modders that build the whole model. But, um, but yeah, it's just dangerous, it's so good. It's in, but, oh yeah, in the campaign you can only recruit three of these throughout the whole campaign. So that's the limitation. Ah, there you go. Finally. Heroic victory. Well, not really. Alright, let's check the statistics. So, we lost 67 and killed 87, 187? But I don't think that's right. I think it was just after the game it does that. Um, but we were facing in number-wise against 800, so if they actually managed to board us, there was a very good chance of them uh, getting the ship. But yeah, all ships fully upgraded. 333 deployed, 67 lost, kills 87, but we sank 5 ships. So, thank you very much for watching the first naval battle of the channel, and see you guys next time.